What's going on, everybody on the goods on YouTube? TG so good everywhere else. All right, so I'm jumping back into modding cutscenes. Now, in the last video, I showed you how you can replace you can replace the environment. So I'm gonna take it a step further. This time, I'm going to install a green screen into uh, whatever environment I want. Okay. All right. So um, first and foremost. Since my green screen core is from an older 2K, it's really based off a 2K20 file. Um, I need to use this right here. This says use old arena 2K20 to 2K23 fix. Okay, basically it's a shared folder. I made a video about the shared folder on my channel. The shared folder has a bunch of textures in there that stadiums use. And so when you get this, this one, you know, this ultimate shared folder or whatever for 2K23, it's going to have textures that allow the old um, stadiums from past 2Ks to work properly. Okay, so you need to get this. And then let's see. Yeah, it'll take you here. You download it from Mediafire. I may, I probably won't have the link to this, but um, I, I don't know. I probably won't have the link to it, but you can see it up here. So you'll get it. You'll download it. And then let me show you. You'll go to your 2K23 directory. And you will put that shared folder in here. Now, some of you are going to say, well, it doesn't, it doesn't have a shared folder. Let me see. Let me go to it. Downloads. Here it is. The ultimate share folder. I'm going to open it with 7-zip. And then it has a folder that says the ultimate shared folder. Then it has a folder that says mods. All I did was double click that mods folder and see this right here. It says shared. I drag that. Let me minimize this. I drag that into this 2K23 mods folder. So drag this inside of the mods folder. Now the alternative you can use the readme file, but the alternative is just to uh, drag this here into your 2K23 directory, and then it'll ask you if you want to merge it with this one. You can just say yes if you want to do it that way. Now these these shared files is not gonna they're not gonna mess up anything, okay? So anyway, I have all the shared textures in here now. So my next step is I had to go and get my, I had to go and get, let me show you. Let me close up seven zip real quick. All right, let me see. I had to go into my 2K20 folder. Yeah, I had to go all the way back to 2K20, go into Wegua. And then I had to find my green screen court, which I named S. G R N if I can find it for you. There it is. So that's my stadium green or green screen court. So I copied that over to my 2K23, um, my 2K23 mods. Mm -hmm. Well, I went inside of mods and then I went to levels because actually the stuff I'm going to replace is inside of levels. If I wanted it to show up as an arena, I could, but I put it in here. It's in my levels because that's what I'm going to be using for the cutscenes. So now before I use it for a cutscene, I'm going to show you the cutscene. All right. So this is what the cutscene looks like now. Oh, man. Okay, I could I could use it on whatever cutscene. Let's see. Just find another cutscene that works. <sighs> see if this one works. Well, that one doesn't. I just need some kind of cutscene. I don't 
think this will work either. But I'm not sure. Oh, this one works. This one works. This one works. All right, so you'll see. Let me turn around. Like, I'm going to replace that. This little office. All right, so anyway. So that one says Tunnel Super INT. So I'm going to rename this. But before I rename it. Well, I can just go ahead and rename it F2 tunnel underscore super underscore I N T. All right. So before this actually works, it won't work yet. I've got to go back to seven zip again. And I'm going to copy this address up here. Copy. Put it in the seven zip, which is already in there, but I'll put it in and then tunnel super int. See right here, this arena dot scene file, put it on your desktop, click it, press F2 so you can rename it. We're going to name it level. And then let's see where did it go. I went somewhere on my, there it is. So still inside of seven zip, I'm going to drag this level file in there. Click yes. And it should be, there it is. It's right there. So now on the one on my desktop, I can throw away and I'm going to leave this file in here and I can just rename it to whatever I want. This is the if file. All right. I'll minimize seven zip. And so now tunnel super INT is actually going to be my green screen. So tunnel super INT, we're going to play this see that it's a green screen. Now I can hit my um, right analog stick, turn around, find, find the characters and just kind of move into the characters. Let me move up. All right. So see my character right there. So, and again, I can replace this character if I want to. I can replace either character. So yeah, got the green screen up. That's how that works. All right. So that'll be it for this video here. I've done a lot already. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video.